Hello, and welcome to the Colorado Health Foundation's Available Funding Webinar. My name is Erin Brown, and I am the Vice President for Community Investment and Impact here at the Colorado Health Foundation. Let's go ahead and get started. Today, I'll provide an introduction to the Colorado Health Foundation and then share some general information about our grant making ahead of our upcoming grant deadline. This will include an overview of our eligibility requirements of our grants, our guidelines for ensuring funding diversity, and a breakdown of various funding types. And then we'll wrap up with some resources for how to best stay connected with us. First, I'd like to share a little bit about the Foundation and what informs and drives our work. Here at the Foundation, our mission is to improve the health of all Coloradoans. We work towards our mission by being singularly focused on helping Coloradoans live their healthiest lives by advancing opportunities to pursue good health and achieve health equity. We work through grant making, policy advocacy, strategic private investments, and convening, all to drive change. We provide nearly $100 million in grants and investments annually to meet the health needs of communities throughout all of Colorado's 64 counties. Although we have significant resources, I should say that demand for funding always exceeds our available resources. So typically, at each grant deadline, funding is highly competitive. Our organizational strategy is designed with equity at the heart of our work. Why? Because lack of opportunity, poverty, racism, these are all key drivers of health challenges experienced by Coloradoans, their families, and the communities across the state. Because of this, it is essential that every step we take creates fair opportunities for those for whom health is furthest from reach. We believe that health equity exists when there are no unnecessary, avoidable, unfair, unjust, or systemically caused differences in health status. We believe keeping equity at the heart of our work will lead Coloradoans to better health, and we know racial justice is a key pathway to achieving it. That's why we prioritize Coloradoans of color and address the deepest, most historically entrenched inequities that affect health. Our work and that which we expect of our partners is rooted in three cornerstones. We serve Coloradoans who have less power, privilege, and income and prioritize Coloradoans of color. We do everything with the intention to create health equity, and we are informed by the community and those we exist to serve. In your application, we will ask you to speak to the ways in which your work reflects these cornerstones by describing how you are strategically advancing health equity and racial justice. The information provided in your application gives us a first look into your program or project and serves as a starting point for a relationship fostered over time. Our organizational strategy is designed to bring health and reach for all Coloradoans by strengthening bodies, minds, and communities in the fight against unfair and avoidable differences in health. Our work is divided into four focus areas, maintaining healthy bodies, nurturing healthy minds, strengthening community health, championing health equity. We also fund cross-cutting efforts that address multiple focus areas at once. We generally make grants to two types of organizations. Colorado organizations classified as tax exempt under Section 501c3 of the Federal Tax Code and Colorado public agencies, including state and local governments. Please note that if a public support test requirement to retain public charity status applies to your organization as a public charity grantee of the Colorado Health Foundation, it is essential that you ensure that the grant your organization receives will not cause it to lose its status as a publicly supported charity. We encourage you to contact a tax advisor if you have any questions about your status as a publicly supported charity. Generally, the foundation does not make grants to the following. Individuals, programs that require membership in a certain religion or advance particular religious faith, for-profit organizations or programs operated by or for the benefit of for-profit organizations, debt retirement, fundraising events, or endowments. The Foundation does not award grants to organizations that willfully discriminate against a particular class of individuals. 
To be eligible for funding, organizations must abide by all applicable local, state, and federal anti-discrimination laws in hiring, employment practices, and when providing services. The Foundation's intent is to encourage a diverse funding base in order to strengthen the financial health and sustainability of nonprofit organizations that we fund. In 2015, we set forth guidelines to ensure that an organization is not excessively dependent on Foundation funding. In general, we work to ensure that the annual grant disbursement from the Foundation does not exceed 25% of an organization's total annual expense budget. For those organizations receiving more than one grant from the Foundation, the guideline is 30% of the annual expense budget. These thresholds are considered when grant proposals are reviewed, understanding that at times the Foundation may decide to go above these guidelines. In these instances, Foundation staff will work with the organization to ensure that future diversified funding sources are being considered and planned for by the organization. For fiscal partnerships, this guideline does not apply to fiscal sponsors, but to the sponsored organization. The Foundation has three application deadlines each year, February 15th, June 15th, and October 15th. Applications must be submitted by 11.59 p.m. Mountain Time of the deadline date. When the deadline falls on a holiday or weekend, please submit your application by 11.59 p.m. on the next business day. You may submit an application at any time and it will be reviewed at the next grant cycle. Funding opportunities vary for each deadline. Applicants will be asked to address detailed criteria specific to that funding opportunity. Grant funding is highly competitive within the pool of applicants for each individual funding opportunity. These funding opportunities focus on specific needs aligned with a particular priority within our focus areas and vary each deadline. Applicants will be asked to address detailed criteria specific to each unique funding opportunity. There is no deadline associated with our rolling funding. We accept applications for these opportunities on a rolling basis. Our rolling funding opportunities include Advocacy Rapid Response, which funds short-term advocacy initiatives that will have long-term impacts on creating health equity in Colorado, and our Building Bridges and Connections funding, which aims to strengthen social capital and community building efforts addressing health challenges and advancing health equity. You can find more information on available funding opportunities by visiting our website at www.coloradohealth.org and scrolling down to the section titled Finding Funding on our homepage. Once you click Find Funding, you will be directed to a page which lists all available funding opportunities for the upcoming grant cycle, as well as rolling funding. Each of the listings here will take you to another page where you will find detailed information and eligibility criteria for that particular program or opportunity and a link to apply. It's important to us that you have a variety of ways to stay informed about our work and that we have ways of staying connected with what's happening in your communities and the work of your organizations. We encourage you to connect with our program staff with any questions about available funding and talk through your proposed projects or programs before you apply for a grant. You can reach your program officer by emailing funding at coloradohealth.org. Please be sure to note which Colorado County you work in and your funding priority of interest in your message. I also encourage you to join our mailing list, coloradohealth.org backslash join, to receive emails when funding opportunities open, as well as other important updates. And of course, please follow us on our social media channels. This concludes today's webinar. Please don't hesitate to reach out to me directly my contact information is provided on the screen or is also available on our website. Thank you so much for joining us as we work to bring health and reach for all Colorado.